Hey there and welcome to the channel. In this video we're going to check out Star Trails. Star Trails is one of the exciting new features that you can find on the GoPro Hero 11 Black. Star Trials lets you capture some great night sky time lapse photography. It looks fantastic and it's really easy to do. And in this video, I'm going to show you how. First of all, we have to put it to time lapse mode. So we do that by swiping the screen across to the time lapse setting. And then down here on the oblong down the bottom, we're going to press uh, the option, which in this case, is uh, Star Trails. As you can see, there's quite a few different time lapse options available, but uh, Star Trails is what we're going to focus on today. So we want to press this pencil here, and the pencil is going to bring up the Star Trails menu. Now, on the Star Trails menu, we have a few different options that are available, and a few which are grayed out. One of the ones that is available is the trail length. So we're just going to tap on that. So the trail length gives you three different options for uh, shooting Star Trails. So you have uh, short, which captures short light trails. In the middle we have long, which as the name suggests captures long night trails. And then the top one here is max. And max will record continuous light trials. So you have three different choices. Now, the next thing you can look at here is the resolution, which is currently set to 4K. You can choose either 4K or 5, or 5.3K. And you can also change the um, uh, the setup as well from 16 to 9 or 4 to 3 so whatever ratio suits you best so I'm going to stick with 4k so we'll scoot down here the shutter is currently set to 30 seconds by default very easy to change that too if you wish within the ProTune settings there are a few options that are grayed out but one of the ones that you can affect is the ISO now the default value for ISO is 800 which is pretty good for shooting in low light but the highest uh, light sensitivity that you can choose with this setting is 1600. So we're gonna use that uh, for tonight when we're shooting star trails. Down the bottom, we have the shortcuts that are available to us. One of the ones that's gonna come in pretty handy is trail length in case we wish to change that as well. Now, as I said, there are a couple of shortcuts listed here on the screen. Uh, the lens is grayed out because it's always set to wide over here we have um, zoom if you want to affect that. But this one up here, which looks like a uh, teardrop lying on a bed, you tap on that. That is the star trials length that we uh, went over before when we went through the other menu. And once again, you can slide it all the way down, as short, middle, as long. We're going to keep it all the way to the top where it says maximum. We've got the GoPro Hero 11. And we've got it connected to the GoPro Volta here. That's just gonna give it a little bit more extra battery. I am using an Enduro battery, which is uh, one of the newer ones that GoPro has released. And it actually has a lot better life than the normal uh, regular old blue batteries. So there it is, Hero 11, connected to the Volta and it's screwed onto the top of my Manfrotto tripod. Okay, so we've got the camera all set up here. As you can see, we've got it tilted back quite a ways. So we're going to capture uh, a great view of the sky tonight. What we need to do now is turn it on and come back in a few hours and check out the footage.
cool tip if you want to create a star vortex, similar to this great image by Valerie Stimmick, is to point your lens at the North or South Pole. In the Northern Hemisphere, use Polaris, the Northern Star, as your guide. But if you live in the Southern Hemisphere like me, draw a line through the Southern Cross, and then another between the two pointer stars, and at the intersection, you will find due south. The key to getting great star trails footage is try to find a location which is not in an urban area and on a beautiful, clear, slightly cold night, it normally works the best. That's when you're normally gonna get the best footage. To learn more about the great things you can do with your GoPro Hero, click on the video over here next. As usual, thanks for watching and until next time, see you later.